Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ayana, and today I'm gonna to be making waist beads using upholstery thread. These are just two different colors. Um, this was honestly my original method of making waist beads. I started, I actually bought like a bulk of the string because I downed the string and it was like really, really strong. So I felt like it was the right way to go. So I might, I might have just buy a bulk of it because it's only like $2. So I bought a whole bunch of them. I bought white, gray, and um, black. And let me tell you how I found the string. I found the string, I remember, I don't, if y'all watched my first video, but I went inside of Joanne's and I went inside of the thread aisle and I was pulling, right? I kept pulling the string, all of the different strings, all the different threads. And this string would not pop. And it actually felt like it was about to cut my finger. That's how strong it is because this string is used to make like sofas and jackets and stuff like that. So it's like really, really, really strong. But the problem I was having with it and like a lot of my customers were complaining about was that it kept popping. And I didn't understand why it kept popping because I'm like, it's super strong. So like, I don't understand why it would be popping. But I'm just going to show y'all like the method that I did with each, this string. But I'm, I personally wouldn't recommend a string. And I'm going to tell y'all why I don't recommend a string. It's because it's a thread. Like the, th the type of thread that it is. If it gets wet, it unravels. You are not using uh, the proper needle, right? And you have to keep threading it. It'll basically start to unravel while you're making the waist beads. And then you'll have like... Your waist beads will be really weak, to be honest. And once they go to time one, they won't last that long. But it's not really about the strength. It's about, well, it is about the strength, but not like pulling to see if it'll pop. Because if I do that to my cotton thread, it'll pop like straight off the pool. Like it'll pop just like that. But the more strands, when you dump more strands that you add into it, it won't really pop like when you try to pull it. And when you wet it, it'll strengthen, it'll get stronger. So it won't necessarily pop once you pull it um unless you pull it too hard of course but it'll strengthen once it get wet and it actually swells up inside of the bead so that's what you want um so that's just the reason why you won't use this string but i know somebody youtube how to make waist bead with upholstery thread so here we are <laughs> and it's just part of my series of me using every string or strand or uh, wire that i could find to make waist beads so we're gonna keep this short and simple. So to begin, we, of course we're gonna need our thread, our beads, scissors, measuring tape, um, our collapse eye needle. And then I'm taking it way back to when I started and I'm even doing my anchor with big pearl beads. These are random pearl beads, y'all. There's no specialty to this. Just find a really big bead that um, your beads that you're using to make the waist beads won't go past okay so just a really big bead i choose pearl beads because they're pretty so i'm gonna go ahead and get this started i have to measure the string out um this string i believe is like the same size as my cotton so i think i could probably use about the same um amounts I'm not sure y'all. When I first started, I used to be so complicated with these. Like, I would put them on one string. First off, I only really used two strings because I had this tiny glass sea beads. And two strings wouldn't fit with my needle. So I would put it on one string. And then I would tie another string to the pearl bead. And, and I would, like, have to restrand the beads, if that makes sense. Like, I would literally take a strand of... Uh, um, a thread and I would like put it back through the beads at the string and then tie them on out of the end but yeah so and, I, and I'm not gonna lie like I had my beads on that I made out of this wire I'm out of the string I had them on for a while like a, a couple months and they were still gonna last I actually just cut them off uh, I'm about to do it with my old my regular one I actually just cut them off because um I just knew it wasn't gonna last too long, and the, the appearance of them, they look way better using the cotton string too. As far as the anchor, like you could easily just thread the needles, thread the string through the needle and put it through, or you can just do it how I just did it, and you're just gonna tie a knot around the bead. Okay, 
It's really not complicated, y'all. Them, them anchors, I'm telling y'all, we overthink it because they're called anchors and it's not, it's really not complicated at all. I think because of the, it's the name anchor, is very like, oh my gosh, how did they do that? Like, how did they make those anchors? None of this stuff is complicated at all. It's really not. Yeah, I don't like this string no more. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna thread my needle. Okay. All right, and if y'all watch part three, which was my last video, um, I was using these beads that, that I said were messed up. Y'all, they're not even messed up. They're not. They just got like this powder or something on there. And I have to like, once I like washed up and stuff, they like went into this really pretty clear blue. So I'm just gonna wash these after I'm done making them because um, that probably will come off. But it is there really pretty. I'm gonna show y'all when I try these on. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to thread these on. I'm literally doing the same method that I do with my cotton thread. I'm just using this upholstery thread. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna thread this one and I'll be right back. So I'm back. And I just finished threading all my beads and now I'm about to put on my anchor so I'm going to do this way with the needle never collects I need a collapsed eye needle so it um definitely is way easier to do this one is already threaded with the strings we're just going to poke the needle through the hole and then we can unthread you know, I wish I could see these strings. They are like all frayed, it's all like messed up. But if you are using this, you do want to make sure that um, it's all all of the wire. I mean, all of the strings are straight because this string tends to do this. So if it's not straight, then you have like bubbles in your waist beads. Okay. And again, we're just going to tie a regular knot around the um, pearl bead. You're not going to have to be fancy or anything. And these are complete. Now let me put my needle back inside of my container. Alright, so this is it. And I'm honestly going to say I don't... I see a huge difference even when I was threading it on um, the, of this string compared to the cotton thread and I honestly would just say recommend that you stick with the cotton string because this string is really, it's just really not that good to be making waist beads with. But I'm going to go ahead and tie these on for y'all so we can just test them and yeah. Let me wash them off. As y'all can see in there, see now they are nice and vibrant. I just washed them off and it's a really pretty blue. And this is the the um the upholstery thread. I know it might look like the cotton thread because it's white, but um it's a it's really not. And then I have my two anchors. Here. Okay. And don't forget to shop your shirts from culture. This is my little sister clothing line. All right, so let's go ahead and tie these. Ones. Okay, so these ones I honestly don't care about where they fall, so I'm probably just gonna tie them up higher. Oh, it's cold. Ooh, it's so cold. All right, and we're gonna tie these the same as we do with the other ones. Just gonna make sure that they are all the way back. Make sure that there's no spacing. Ooh. Oh my gosh. And now with this thread, when I was using it, these these were the only ones that ever gave me pinching if it was spacing it with the upholstery thread. But as far as the cotton one, I never got even if it was spacing in here, I never was pinched. Um, I'm this is not really going to be a how to tie on video because I already made a separate one, so you just watch what I'm doing. You hold it so that those beads won't um. Separate and then we gotta move our finger just like that. And I'm gonna show you a video of me tying these beads on and what happened. I know I posted it on my Instagram, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, 
but so as always you always want to cut above the anchor and that means like not where the, above the beads you want to cut the anchor off not the beads off all right and if y'all can see the difference y'all see how white those beads look and how vibrant these beads look these beads look ashy and the ones that I wash look really crystal blue so if y'all ever come like that y'all probably just have to wash them off clearly maybe I'm tying my um, waist beads. They're not going to be all tied the same, but I'm using my method that I use to tie them because I do want to make sure that I am tying them pretty good just to test, you know, for the test. I don't want to tie them all crappy and then that could be the blame of why they pop off. Okay. And that's my final knot. All right, and then we're going to just tug at these just a little bit. And you see, like, this actually have um, some space in there, so I know it's going to pinch me. And I just turn my knot to the back. And these ones are up here. And that's, that's it, guys. Right, so give this video a thumbs up, a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I hope that y'all got some, some good information out of this video. Um, or just enjoy to watch it. Um, and okay. give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and make sure that you leave me a comment and also thank you thank you thank you so much for getting me to 2,000 subscribers I appreciate y'all so much y'all don't even understand and I just and I am going to give do a giveaway so stay tuned to my Instagram I'm going to post it in just a few by the time that this video is up my the giveaway should be active and it's going to last for um, about 48 to 72 hours. I haven't decided yet, but um, I need everybody to go ahead and participate because I want to have two lucky winners. Okay, it's going to be awesome. Anyway, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in and until next time.